Colours and symbols have different meanings to different people and cultures. People like different colours, like they like different foods. Colour also represents feelings, people, countries, cultures and symbolism. For example, in the Western world, red is seen as anger, aggression and stop. In China it stands for good luck and celebration. Russia sees red as the colour of communism, while Indians interpret it as a sign of purity. Let's start with having a look at the Papua New Guinea flag. In 1971, a 15-year-old girl won a nationwide competition for the design of the country's flag. It is divided diagonally from the top of the hoist to the bottom. On the upper part appears a yellow kumo, a bird of paradise. Bird of paradise has a lot to do with their people, who use its beautiful feathers as a decoration for ceremonial festivities, such as dancing and singing. The red and yellow are traditional colours from when Germany used to control Papua New Guinea and since it represents the colour of many beautiful flowers that grow in various parts of PNG. The white and the stars represents the lime that our people chew with betel nut. The five stars represent the southern cross, notable in the night skies of PNG and other countries of the southern hemisphere. According to the Papua New Guinean embassy, the stars that appear on the flag is to signify the country's historical relationships with other nations of the South Pacific, such as their old colonizers, yeah. Australia. The Australian Aboriginal flag was also designed in 1971 by Aboriginal artist Harold Thomas. The flag was originally designed for the land rights movement and it became a symbol of the Aboriginal people of Australia. According to Harold, the Aboriginal flag comes from the power and simplicity of the Aboriginal art itself. Simple colour, choice of colour and a simple design. Red ochre, this red soil, represents the country of Australia. The yellow circle symbolises the sun. When we look carefully at the colour black, it is more a political inclusion rather than a spiritual Aboriginal concept. In the Western world, the colour black often associates with funerals, death and bad guys. The national flag of Angola came into use at independence in 1975. As in some of the other African countries, this flag is a modification of the ruling party's flag, the guerrilla movement and later governing party, the political movement for the liberation of Angola, MPLA, used the same design with a golden star in the centre. Red stood for socialism and black for Africa. The star was modelled after the red star of the Soviet Union, which sponsored the MPLA, a common symbol of communism. Later the explanation was made less party specific. The red is for the blood spilt by Angolans during their independent struggles, while the black is for the continent of Africa. Things can look really similar, but express totally different things. Your interpretation of colours is based on your own culture and backgrounds. For instance, the colour of religions, traditions and celebrations and historical perspectives. It could also have political relations in the colour of flags, political parties or royalty, or just the meaning of colours within geographic trends and fashion, such as current applications, sports, companies or objects created by your own modern society.